Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is part 3 of my Loewe House Moving Castle haul. And I would never have imagined that this obsession would have spiraled out of control to this extent. But here I am and I am so excited because I want to just show you all the remaining items that have come in. And so without further ado, I am just going to start because I know this might drag on for a very, very long time. As you can see, I am wearing... I don't know if you can see this, yeah. I am wearing one of the pieces that I have already unboxed and I did this off camera because I got this from the store on I believe the my second visit after the launch to the store here and I I couldn't resist wearing it. I'm loving this t-shirt. It is in the size S and it's a woman's cut as you can tell. So I noticed that the guys shirts tend to be cut very differently for this collection and they tend to be on the oversized um, style of cuts. Anyway, I also want to show this piece that my husband has been wearing and he wore this almost like right after I gave it to him. It's this Kelsifer top and it, I believe this is the size medium. It's definitely 100% cotton so I've realized that all these t-shirts are 100% cotton which is extremely comfortable and wearable. This is the blue and black, I mean the blue Kelsifer flame on a black shirt. And in my previous unboxing video, I have for myself the white one with the red calcifer. Um, if you look closely here, you can see that it has the Loewe embroidery on the pocket. And ah, there we go. You have calcifer with the same expression. Uh, let me pull out the other one here so you can see. So this is the one that I unboxed before with the same expression. And now we have matching pieces. This one I believe is in the size S for myself and this one is for the size, in the size M for my husband. I've been waiting for a chance where I can wear this out with him and yes, we'll be that corny couple that wears coordinated clothing but I don't care. We are at the stage where you know, we just want to enjoy our our stuff together. So those are the pieces that I unboxed off screen. Also, I forgot to mention that on the day of the launch, when you know the one where I queued up for one and a half hours, I did get this Loewe House Moving Castle journal, and let's just take it off together. Ta da! Yeah, it's the one that matches this bag over here. The, the illustration wraps around the back here and it's basically a notebook with dots um, as a kind of grid so you can use it anyhow you like. I love that it has a little turnip head here, it's so cute and it's really beautiful in here. Look at that. I just love the, the art in this collection. I can't get enough of it. So I went on to Carousel here and I bought, yes, I went to buy another journal and this one I paid $40, well, Singapore dollars, $40. That should be like 25 US dollars for this one. Somebody was selling theirs and it is the castle. Also has the same insides here and the same um, dotted grid. So that's enough of the packaging, let's move on. For the last video, I forgot to include one item that I didn't unbox. It's from the first day of the launch and it's this small leather good over here. <laughs> it is a very, very cute... Oh, I think you can see what it is already. Comes with the authenticity card here, the little booklet, and it is... Yeah, it's this cute little heen charm. I think this is just so adorable. And, and I, I think this is the one of the first items that I wanted when I saw the sneaks of, you know, sneak pictures of the, of the, the collection. And I love it. I love it so much. It's so cute. It has this little compartment here. I, I'm not sure what goes on in here. But it's just basically two leather pieces, the top bit, 
and it's being sewn down here to make a three-dimensional pop. And I love the construction of it, but yeah, it has this Studio Ghibli um, embossing here. I know it's not really showing up, but, and it has this dice here, the anagram dice, and let's just take it out together. Oh wow, it's so pretty! It's extra pretty when you can see the gold and it goes very well with the the brown hues. I love that the heen the heen dog matches like <laughs> since we're doing SLGs, I have uh, three more SLGs here that I picked up on a second visit. I think it was just like five days after the launch. And that's when I made friends with the SA that served me already and I kept bugging him. So I picked up some SLGs that he held. I mean, he informed me. Let's just do the first one. So yeah, you still have the, the usual stuff that comes with it. I've kept all the receipts now. And it is this heme little card holder in the rust color so it's a little bit darker than their usual caramel tan color and the leather marquetry on this is beautiful so what happened i i really love the pop of blue on the inside here so i like that this is a counter a nice counterpart to my um heen dice pocket from the last unboxing it's a really cute pair i believe the blue on the inside is the same blue here and that's the yeah so this is Heen when he's all like lying down and resting and this is Heen when he's happy and up in the air I really like the detail that goes into these little small leather goods and this one I intend to give to my husband and the funny thing about this is that this is the second piece that I have bought because the first one I bought and I I have no idea what happened to it because I put it on the bedside table and I saw my three-year-old playing with it and I told him not to play with it and the next thing I knew the next morning when I wanted to look for this to give to my husband it was gone and we searched for so long for I think two days and it didn't pop up and then I ordered a second piece to replace the first one to give to my husband so I don't know what happened to the first piece but this is the second card holder that I got of this make the leather is extremely soft and supple and it's also grained and it's not the, the satin calf skin that you see on the... Alright, I don't have my puzzle right now. Aha! So this was the satin calf skin um, heen puzzle bag that I unboxed in the last video and now they really match and it's so pretty. But yeah, I can... I mean, I don't, I'm not sure if it's showing up, but the satin calf skin is really smooth and soft. And this one here is definitely grained. It's extremely soft too. And actually, I feel like the satin calf skin is thicker and more sturdy. So it holds its structure. And this one, I would compare it, the feeling and the softness to, I don't know if you're an Hermes um, leather collector, but it feels like swift leather. Like it's really soft and it will definitely mold to your cards and yeah, it will get out of shape if you start using it. It will definitely stretch, but hey, card holders are meant to be used and enjoyed. And I love that it goes so well together. So anyway, the next piece here is this one. Let's unbox that together. It comes with all this stuff in here. Oh, I know what this is. <laughs> yep, <laughs> this is... Another card holder, and this one is Calcifer in the Blue Flame to match my wallet, the small vertical wallet, and also to match the small puzzle that my husband got for me. And it's a darker blue on the inside here with the embossing and the same beautiful leather marquetry here with the ombre tones and an embossing of the anagram. Just a really, for comparison, you know, over time, I'm beginning to appreciate the leather marquetry on the Heen pieces because I think it's a lot more complex than the ones on Calcifer, and I like both characters a lot. So for the last SLG, I have this one. 
here we go. <laughs> this one, is, this one's definitely for me, and this is Calcifer in the red flame, in the rust color, with the leather marquetry as usual, with Calcifer. And let's see, the inside is orange. Yep, it's orange here with the the stamp, the embossing over here. And it's really soft leather. You know, it's almost a pity to use these things, but I, I definitely will. I can already tell that this is going to be very convenient to use. And just for comparison's sake, I'm just going to do it side by side. And I think that the leather... The leather feels the same, honestly. The same shade of rust tone. And I love this rust color. I, I just like this deep brown. It reminds me of the togo leather in the Hermes togo leather in tan even has a bit of a reddish hue to it but that's it for the slg so coming up next i have two boxes here so two boxes arrived from my teresa so let's unbox the first package from my teresa so I believe Connor from Connor's Closet mentioned on his Instagram that if there are some sold out pieces that you on the website that you haven't been able to get, you can order it on My Teresa. Shout out to Connor. Thanks for the tip. I managed to snag some items that I wasn't able to in the boutique or on the online store. And this is the first one. And let's just open it. I was actually slightly disappointed that the My Teresa items didn't come in these wonderful boxes but I heard um, worldwide that a lot of the online pieces also ran out of packaging and then further um, further orders further orders were shipped um, in the regular Loewe packaging so it's really in short supply well let's just open this Ta -da! So it comes with this wonderful... I have opened it on the day that I received it, but I haven't opened it since and I've actually kind of forgotten what this piece is at. But let's just see what it is together. And I like the way that My Teresa has packaged it. Let's see here. Yeah, this is... <laughs> so I really wanted this piece and... I hummed and hawed on it for too long and by the time I wanted to order it in store, it was sold out in my size. And this is a size 38 with the tags. And this is the Magical Night Jeans. Yep, it has this Loewe leather tag. It's so soft. But I have no idea how... Does this mean that this has to only be dry clean? If you guys have any items of clothing with some leather patches on it, please um, give me some tips as to how to wash this. I couldn't pass this up because I... Okay, it's button fly and it's kind of like a mid-rise jeans with a straight leg cut. But it's so beautiful with the, you know, the shooting stars from the magical night and I love this scene I love that the jeans are so special and you know honestly for my body type I find it extremely hard to find jeans that flatter me I have a very short frame and a long torso so that means my legs are shorter and it's very hard to find flattering jeans for myself and I am quite surprised that these Loewe jeans fit me so well and it's really flattering so I'm looking forward to wearing it. It is definitely 100% cotton and I I feel like because it's not very thick, it's actually a very thin um, piece, it can be quite suitable for the hot tropical weather here. So this is the next item that arrived from my Teresa and let's just unbox it. Let's just open it. Elegance is the balance between proportion, emotion, and surprise. Valentino. Interesting. Oh yeah, I definitely put things together. So this one was from the, the jeans packaging and this one is the... This is basically, these are like little folders for the receipt inside here. This one's from a quote from Karl Lagerfeld. Luxury is the ease of a t-shirt in a very expensive dress. 
Well said, Carl. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it down here because it's hard to wrangle open. And aha! So there are two items here. I had forgotten that there were two, and I'm glad that I'm seeing it now. So this is the same t-shirt from the last one but in the size M uh, the other one's the size L and when I saw they had size M I immediately snapped it up because this is the perfect size for me in an oversized t-shirt look and it's also the perfect size for my husband although my husband can also pull off the size L so at this point I have two of these I am not sure if I should keep one for myself, which is the M, and my husband can wear the L, or I should just return the L. I mean, at this point, it's it's just like for the L since I bought it in the store, I'll have to I'll have to exchange for um, store credit, which is only valid for six months. So I'm not sure yet. I might keep it because I, I quite like this, and I like that my husband and I can have like matching shirts together, and I love this. This might have to be my favorite image from all the images that they have used. I mean, all the scenes. It's a toss-up between this one and the Magical Knight, which I also really like. And let's see, there's something else in this box. This one's from my husband. And I'm not sure if this is considered a small letter good, but let's just go ahead and open it. Huh? I know what it is. One, two, three. Can you tell what it is? It says here, um, shoulder bag, and this is the My Teresa tag. But, <laughs> okay, I, I think it just popped open. What a reveal. So this is the, this is the, so this is the blue calcifer dice pocket. And it is in this stunning blue, like navy blue, and I love this shade. And let's just go ahead and tear this. Oh no, I should give it to my husband to open, huh? But here's a peep. It's a bit of a silver gunmetal shade. I'm not sure yet. Yeah, but I'm gonna let him do that. And it's this lavender inside. Lavender color inside. And I'm looking for the embossing. Oh, where is it? Okay. Let me check the heme pouch if it has the same embo embossing in the inside. Yeah, it does. So it has embossing here in the back. Right, it's here. There's embossing here on this corner. But it's extremely hard to tell. It's for some reason a bit fainter than usual. But it's on that side and I can see it. But anyway, I hope that my husband will like this one. And it's really cute. Last but not least, I have two more items that I went back to the boutique in store and the SA told me that these had come in stock and I I don't know, I just I just feel like I've been a bit bananas over this whole collection and I think I've reached a point of no return. I'm just gonna accept that this is me and I am just that obsessed and crazy about this collection so I'm gonna fully embrace it. So this is the first item and it is... Are you ready? <laughs> it is... Yes! As if that one wasn't enough, I went ahead and picked up this item here. Oh, it smells gorgeous. So this is none other than the mini, the mini puzzle bag. As you can tell, it is a lot smaller than the small size and I just couldn't pass up the blue. It looked so fantastic on me. Oh, it comes with the straps here and yeah. Yep. I don't know if it's obvious, but that's the larger than, than usual um, label at the back with the Studio Ghibli embossing. It comes with the cards inside there, but I'm not gonna take it out now because I feel like this video has gone on long enough. I couldn't pass up this shade of blue. I am kind of obsessed with it. And yeah, I am. This is my first mini puzzle bag. And now I have the medium, the small, and the mini. And the last item for today is in here. I also picked this up in store. And I know that this item 
there's actually a lot of stock for this item in my local store now and I don't know if that's the case anymore but here it is are you ready? <laughs> yeah so this is the calcifer and the rust it is the mini puzzle bag <sighs> I just love the smell so yes it's a mini puzzle bag it's in the rust color it's very different i feel from the caramel color it does have a reddish undertone i feel and now i have two mini puzzle bags i definitely have two small puzzle bags now and they all have some kind of cartoon character on it and i don't care i am just gonna fully embrace this cartoon character life and you know i i love these little characters and how they are done and yep this is me this is my entire haul i don't think i have any more items pending and hopefully it stays that way and i can move on with my life i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video it has been a huge journey and this is what i call a real journey hunting and looking for all these individual pieces have has not been easy it has been so much joy and I'm so excited to use these mini puzzle bags although I am currently using my small blueberry version of puzzle bag in this color. I mean, I've been using that since I unboxed it and I've been loving it so much. I'm going to do a first impressions of this satin calf skin because I've been hearing a lot of people say negative things about it. I do see why but it's, it's not enough to put me off so here I am with four puzzle bags from this collection is insane I did not expect I did not see this coming <laughs> in a way it's good that Loewe isn't doing any more collections with a Studio Ghibli so that my money can stay safe with me anyway I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you like it give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!